Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan um, coming to you here to talk about July 5th uh, League of Legends DFS slate. Um, I've been a little bit AFK for the last two or three days uh, due to my son's birthday party and stuff. Um, and I know 4th of July is happening right now. And uh, I hear a lot of fireworks in the background in our neighborhood. But anyway, just came back from a local baseball game where they had huge fireworks. So happy 4th of July to everybody. Hope you guys have had a good holiday and hope you guys have a good week this week. Speaking of good week, hopefully we can make some money together uh, starting tonight. Um, it's a two game slate in League of Legends. It's IG versus LNG and then Weibo Gaming versus Anyone's Legend. Um, LNG and Weibo Gaming, WBG, are two favorites, respectively, in their matchups. Um, LNG is starting Iwandi at support. Here I posted the starters on my Twitter handle. Uh, Iwandi here is starting for LNG, but there is a good chance that if they lose game one, they will resort back to Lamau. Uh, at support position so there is some substitution substitution risk with the support position for lng and then ig is going back to wink 80 carry and shin liu at support so uh so much for on and wink combo in the bottom lane for ig i think that experiment is over uh now wink and shin liu are back um, and they're, they have a tough, you know, tall task, I think, um, going up against Light at Awandi. Um, I do, I'm not that scared of Light at Awandi, uh, to be personally honest with you. Like LNG has been so up and down, and IG has been so up and down. So, really, I think anything can happen here today. Um, but at the end of the day, I think I have LNG. I'm predicting LNG to pull this off as well. Um, I think that messing with the bottom lane has kind of thrown some wrenches into June and Zika's uh, play style, I think, especially watching that last game. Um, and I think Doing B is going to be playing well against Yukai. And I know Tarzan has been playing well somewhat um, recently as well. So I think the matchups are really good for LNG here. I think it's the bottom lane that, L that gives LNG trouble, in my opinion. Uh, has been giving trouble LNG, uh, has been giving LNG trouble, in my opinion, in the bottom lane. But Wink and Shin Liu are so weak that I think um, LNG should be winning all across the map, I think, in my opinion. So I think that's why I have LNG winning it. But I do want to see some stats here today um, together. Um, this is something that I do every slate just to see if anything stands out, you know, to see if Invictus Gaming... Um, and then LNG have any, you know, metrics that stand out to me. Uh, and then also looking at the kill upside, right? Like which one I need to get a long stack from and versus short stack. So this is what I'm going to do here today. I'm going to collectively, while I'm doing this live, I'm going to make some notes to see what the kill upside is and any met metrics stand out. So IG... CKPM is IG 0.85 and then LNG 0.72. So LNG is a little bit playing slower, but on average, it's about what is that? 137.79 or 8. So I call 0.79 just LNG is the favorite. So let's see. 0.78, maybe six, seven, seven, six. All right, whatever. It's fine. It's about the same. All right. Um, and I do want to see gold spell spend percentage difference. That's about the same. I mean, slightly. I mean, by point like six percent advantage first blood um invictus gaming is better dragon invictus gaming is better baron control rate lngs is better lane control percentage same 
jungle control percentage lng plus 2.6 percent so yeah i mean they're really about the same they're about even um i do want to see who they played against um so let's look at that what if it works no it doesn't work sometimes oh i have to go sorry guys i want to see lng all right Okay, match history, LNG, and IG. All right, LNG has played so far. We've played a lot of games since June 12th. So what is that? It's been, almost been a month in the LPL. Uh, that's kind of fun. All right, so let me go from re most recent to... At least last reason LGD when TES loss OMG loss TT win but two to one. AL win two to zero. BLG win two to one. Okay. Fairly good. Then IG, I don't want to see here. Jesus. IG is one and five. Yeah, I mean, Ellen just should win, I think. All right, Invictus Gaming, give it to me here. Okay. BLG loss, one to two, AL loss. Man, they've had some game, like a lot of game threes, like three games, best, you know, best of three, so. EDG loss one to two. Jeez. TS zero to two. FPX one, two to zero. My PX is so bad. Weibo Gaming loss one to two. Okay. If PX was the only win, that's pretty bad. All right. So that tells me that LNG should win. I mean, it's really as simple as that. I think IG beat FPX, lost against any other teams, all went to game three except for TES. They have played against some good teams and bad teams. Good teams in EDG, TES, and Noible Gaming at the beginning. Um, but then they lost to BLG, bad team. AL's not bad, mediocre team. All right, let's see LNG. LNG has beat LGD, who was kind of catching fire, but not really. They took care of business against them, and then they lost lng lost to tes who's been hot lng lost to omg who's been really good they were they were really good against adg this morning uh they beat tt which they should have but only two to one and they beat anyone's legend two to zero and beat blg was bad so they haven't really played that many great teams like other than tes and then that's about it omg has been okay um So that wor worries me a little bit, but like I said, I am not that concerned about the bottom lane thing for LNG. So LNG lost to Tia, Jackie Love, and Mark, and lost to OMG, who's been pretty good in the bottom lane. Yeah, I'm pretty confident that LNG is going to win today. Um, 
prediction LNG wins probably. Oh, probably two to zero one. That's going to be close. I think two to one. Let's go with that. Although, actually, bottom lane, yeah. I think Tarzan's going to be June. Uh, I think June, as good as June is, Tarzan has been great. Um, bottom, top lane, mid lane. Yeah, I think LNG is going to win two to zero today. I think they'll show up really well today. All right, Weibo Gaming versus Anyone's Legend. This is, has like a similar feel to it too because both teams have been up and down. I mean, like Anyone's Legend's ceiling has been very high. They were one of the dark horses that I pick, picked um, early in the summer split to win uh, a lot of the games in an upset fashion. Like I know they would be a uh, underdog in a lot of the games uh, because – you know, but like the, they have a low floor and high ceiling. I think anyone's legend can really beat any team in the league. I think when they hit on all cylinders, because I think I've seen the explosiveness of Xiao Hao in the jungle position, and then Betty and Cho Cho are really good, in my opinion. And ZDZ has those games, few games here and there that can pop off at, on a carry champion, too. So I like anyone's legend um, on, the, on the ceiling. Uh, side of like as an upset pick and let's look at today's matchup Weibo Gaming versus um, anyone's legend and Weibo Gaming is a favorite at minus 325 and that anyone's legend is an underdog at plus 245 I do want to see Weibo Gaming's here uh, uh, stats here and anyone's legend is seven and seven. Weibo Gaming is at ten and nine uh, for the summer split. Um, what is the CKPM, the combined kills per minute, to measure the kill upside? It's at 0.83. So this game is definitely faster uh, than the other matchup. Uh, slightly though. Um, so really anything can happen. But I'm just saying that uh, overall this game will be more bloody than the other uh, IG versus LNG matchup. I do want to point out that AL has 0.82, whereas Weibo Gaming has 0.83. So it's about the same. They're both pretty fast. Okay. Then let's look at any other metrics, see if anything stands out. Yeah, I mean, Weibo Gaming stands out here. Gold spend per, per uh, difference, 0.8, I mean, 8.9%. That's a big difference in my opinion. And then lane, so the same. Jungle, it's, that's a big difference. Wow, Weibo Gaming. Um. 8.0%. Wow. Now look at let's look at the match history to see if anything stands out. Yeah, they've been so up and down. Like I would I can't even pick out a single player or two players that have been playing really well versus have not been playing well. Like, cause I think like last, last game, last series, the shy played really well. And then the game before that, the shy played like shit. And then Huan Feng and on played decent. And then the game before that angel played better than Huan Feng. And then like, he was the one who was the reason why they won that game. Uh, who was it against? Um, I'll have to look, but man, uh, yeah. Against ultra prime, like, I don't know. So we'll, we'll see. All right. Let's look at the match history. Match history. Who's the favorite? Anyone's legend. Nope. Weibo Gaming is the favorite. Which they should be. They beat. No, they lost to TES 1 to 2. And then beat Ultra Prime 2 to 0, which they should have. Where Adam that was horrible and they went 2 to 0. That's which they should were expected to do so. Or I guess it was one, two to one. Oh, wow. Okay. 
And then RNG against RNG, what did they do? They lost one to two. And then Team WE, they should have won. Yep, they did. And then EDG, they lost zero to two. And then last game, the first game of the summer split was against IG. They won two to two to one. So that's interesting, I think. I want to see anyone's legends team uh, match history. Uh, V5, they lost one to two, which I think they should have won, in my opinion. Would have made me a lot of money, but they did not. Against IG, they uh, won two to one. LGD lost. Both to two. I know that was a big upset. PLG, they won two to zero. And then LNG, they lost zero to two. Rare Adam, which they should have won, two to zero. Okay. That is interesting. So let's look at that. It looks like the bottom lane is the reason why Weibo Gaming has won many games because of their kill participation rate's pretty high. And then I want to see where anyone's legend of strength is. Betty and Xiao Hao basically as well in bottom lane and jungle. Yeah, bottom lane and jungle, right? So bottom lane and jungle. Yeah, I mean, anyone's legend could pull this off. I want to look at the metrics. DES, good team. Oh, two prime, pretty good team. They beat them two to zero. Wow. We're out of horrible. RNG, pretty good team. Good team, actually. Um, lost one to two. Team WE, bad team. They won. EDG, good team. They lost. IG, Invictus Gaming, decent team. But two to one. All right. Anyone's Legend has lost to Victory 5 in the last series against uh, on one to two result. And then Invictus Gaming, one, two to two to one. So Anyone's Legend, like I said, has the ceiling. Um, they lost to LGD. Shadow. I think anyone's legend has struggled against a good jungler jungling team, right? Um Yeah, way well, SOFM has been playing well. Let's see. Yeah, 62%. That's not that great. Damage per minute. Where is S of FM? Okay, there you go. Shell how about the same. S of FM. Yeah, I think that's interesting. I think Shao SOFM are they like neck to neck, but it's that kill participation is so much lower as for SOFM. But then if you look at the team stats at jungle, that stands out that Weibo Gaming has been playing pretty well. And anyone's legend is almost at the bottom. Why is that? Okay, 
Okay, well, Able Gaming has been up and down too. So, TES, good jungle. Tian, not good jungling, but he still lost. I think anyone's legend can pull this off. Um, So just based on the fact that SOFM's kill participation is really low for Weibo Gaming, and I think the jungle control difference percentage is a little inflated for Weibo Gaming just based on the um, the last series, the last games that they've had against TES and UP and RA. Um, I know Leanne has, actually has been playing pretty well for RA, Rare Adam, in jungle position, but still I think, it's, I think that numbers are a little inflated for... Uh, S of FM, and I don't think he's as good as, as a, of a jungler as uh, Shao Hao has been, in my opinion. I know some people may disagree because F S of FM has been around for a long time and has been solid in that position. But Shao Hao, man, when he's on, like especially against Victory Five in the last series when they won that one matchup, um, I like Shao Hao uh, here today as well um, to dominate uh, the input map pressure on. The laners um i think anyone's legend having that good ad carry position here i think is gonna make a big difference against Huan Feng and on i like Xiao how i like that bottom lane for anyone's legend as well so as long as zdz does okay which he has been playing pretty decent mediocre but decent solid um and then forge is a little bit of a concern for me but i haven't seen angel carry like two three games in a row um, in a game like this against a decent opponent. So I like anyone's legend. I think for cash, obviously, Weibo Gaming and then uh, um, LNG, but I think GPP, I would definitely take chances with anyone's legend. I like anyone's legend as a team, as the roster with the high upside. And these are the spots that I think I need to take advantage of anyone's legend in a GPP contest. So anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any other questions, let me know at DFS Chan on Twitter, YouTube, on Discord for True DFS. Um, this was this video was sponsored by True DFS. So if you please uh, um, hit the like button, that'll be great. If you like the video, otherwise hit the subscribe button as well to get notifications of videos like this. So I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you guys make some money. Uh, thanks everybody. Have a good one. Happy Fourth of July. Thanks.